how's it? Welcome to the channel, Kid Showtime here. And as you can see right here, it's another Showtime creation. And what we got right here is the Kobe Bryant Black Mamba shot. As you can tell by the colors right here, you got that purple, the, the yellow, and then you got the black on the bottom. You know, you got the Lakers color, and of course, Kobe Bryant, nicknamed the Black Mamba, got that on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I'm going to talk about it as well, uh, why I came up with the creation, why the flavors are the way it is. So um, stay tuned. I'm about to hit you with the, the intro and the, um, the, the ingredients. So, uh, all right, y'all. Oh, got the hairy fraud. <laughs> yeah. Just try to chill, you know. Try to be low. <laughs> Daytona. Yeah. I don't know what it is when I'm rolling up. Got the <laughs> All right, y'all, so let's get into these ingredients. So first thing up, some Sambuca Black, some Lemoncello, some Sweet and Sour, some Empress Gin, and then some uh, Blackberry Liqueur. All right, All right so now that we got the ingredients out the way, let's build this drink. All right, y'all, now that we got the ingredients out the way, let's build this drink. Let's get your shot glass. Bam. Hit it right there. And then what we're going to do is hit it with the Sambuca Black. It's going to be the bottom layer. So you want to go about like one third of it. And then you're also going to hit it with the, uh, the Blackberry Liqueur. So just a little... Just a little bit right in there. And then next, we're going to do the yellow layer. So bam. So it's gonna be half sweet and sour. So you wanna do about an even mix. Right, so not too much. And this, you know, you can adjust it to how you want it, um, how much layer you want on this, and how much layer you want on that. Like, you want more on the purple or the yellow. But remember, it's gonna affect the taste. So I'm going for looks and taste on this one, y'all. <laughs> yeah. All right, then we're gonna hit it with the uh, lemon liqueur, or the limoncello. And I'm doing it without a pour spout, but pretty much know the, the level that it needs to be, so we're all good. But you definitely want to keep it a, a even level on it. And then with this one, you can just uh, stir it or you just shake it a little bit. See, it's not too much in there, because remember, it's just, it's just a shot. It's not a full cocktail, so you don't need that much. And then if you're using like a shot glass like this, where it's not wide, where you can put a spoon, um, a trick to it is in my other videos, as you can see, I'll just get a straw. You know, try to get the widest straw you can get. I don't have a real wide one right now, but and you just flatten it out. But you, you know what I did? I started using a plastic knife, and it works. It works amazing, y'all. So let's, let's do this. All right, so we got it mixed in here, and then just let it ride onto it, and just layer it like you would with a spoon or a cherry. And look at that yellow, y'all. Look at that yellow layer. You can't tell me that on the device. And there it goes forming right now. And yellow is my favorite color, so of course I'm more, you know, I'm gonna add more yellow to it. Plus, I'm a more hit of that sweet and sour and uh, limoncello that, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of um, of black licorice. I do like black licorice, don't get me wrong, but I gotta be in the mood for it, so that's why it balances it out. And plus, we're gonna hit it on the top. We're gonna hit it with the, uh, the Empress Gin to give it that purple. Right. I, did, I just found out just right now my other pour spots not working, so we gotta recycle the other one, y'all. <laughs> you wondering what I'm doing? That's what I'm doing. All right. So then, bam. I'm gonna we'll hit it with the knife again. I mean, this one's pretty high, so you could use the spoon. And then, bam! I'm gonna hit it with that purple. There it is. The Kobe Bryant Black Mamba shot. I have more pictures on it and then I'll show you everything, um, get the better angles, but yeah. As you can tell right here, you got the three layers. All right, y'all, so as you can see right here, this is that uh, Kobe Bryant Black Mamba shot. 
I just showed you how to make it, so try it out for yourself and uh, let me know what you think, y'all. I mean, like I said, you can adjust the, the layers as you want. You know, if you want more of uh, the black licorice, you can make it even more. Or you could, if you want, you know, just to balance it out and get more sweetness to it. That sweet and sour and that limoncello mix, you can make uh, you can make it higher. You can do it however you want, but this is my version of the Kobe Bryant shot. You know, and this is the way I like it. So, you know, adjust to yourself. So, of course, let's do the breakdown of this all. So, you got the uh, the bottom layer, of course, is the black Sambuca and then uh, mixed with the blackberry liqueur. So, if you didn't know, Kobe Bryant's dad um, nicknamed Jelly Bean. So, that gave me the idea to make it taste like a jelly bean and then, you know, black licorice. So, that's that was the idea of it all. Um, you know, honor his father in that sense, too, because he is a second-generation NBA player. So, we add that to it. And, of course... Um, you got the other two layers, the the limoncello, you know, Kobe Bryant lived in Italy, he speaks Italian, so that gave me the concept idea of adding that to it as well. And then um, just sweet and sour just to balance it out, you know, that, that Sambuca is pretty strong, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it, so that's why I added a little bit more of that sweet and sour into it. And then of course on the top, hit it with that Empress Gin, um, that purple gin, I, you know, not too much because I don't want the, the gin kind of, you know, even though it has that, that taste of the, the, the berries and everything, you know, I'm not the... I still wanted more of that sweet and sour to be more than the, the Empress Gin, so that's why it's not too much, but just enough, and then enough you can see the, the purple layer of it. So that's the breakdown of it, and that's why I used the ingredients that I did instead of just leaving what it is. You know, I, I kind of wanted to, to play into his background as well, and uh, who he is, and his, his uh, you know, of course, his father too, because he played in the NBA as well. But I mean, this is all about Kobe Bryant, that's why it's the, uh, the Black Mamba shot. And then um, also, you know, I, I did debut, I made my wrestling debut, pro wrestling debut, wearing Kobe's. If you can tell the name of this shoe, you know, you know your shoes. I mean, it's not one of his uh, signatures, you know, the Kobe Grinches or nothing, but I actually, actually debuted. I'm going to show a picture of it right here. I mean, you can't really tell the shoe because, I mean, it is an all-black one. And, you know, at that time, <laughs> you know, I don't know whose camera it was, but, I mean, that was, like, a good quality, but now, you know, it doesn't show up. But, yeah, I actually debuted in some Kobe's. I used to wrestle in Kobe's. And, uh... One of something interesting as you're looking at it is that he has a pretty big shoe. If y'all know I'm a short dude, so these are actually a size 12. I wear a size 10 and a half naturally. So, um, you know, at that time, you know, I was balling on a budget big time. You know, money was tight. You know, um, I, had, I had a basic 9 to 5 and, you know, trying to pay for all of the wrestling, uh, all my other wrestling stuff, gear, and then also paying rent and everything else. You know, I didn't have that much to spend on um, everything else. And I was going to get like wrestling boots, but um, I saw these at a. Oh yeah, I went to the Nike outlet, and I was just like, man, I, I'm just trying to find all black shoes, and then I saw the, the Kobe logo on the box, and I'm like, well, it's not really, you know, the signature Kobe's, but, it, you know, it's a Kobe Zoom, it's still a Kobe line, and it's just like, you know, it'd be cool to actually wrestle in Kobe's, you know, because it's like, at that time I was grinding, y'all, um, I was making a debut way sooner than I should, you know, so it was just, I was hyped, and I was like, you know, I need to get that Mambo mentality, so yeah, I actually wore a size 12, I rocked these for a couple matches, actually, I think, uh, Three matches, yeah, and that, just the Cauliflower Alley actually wore these, you know, size 12 and I'm a 10 and a half, but for some reason these fit good, you know, I don't know, because it was, I mean, it's not the narrowest, but as you can see on the bottom, you got even jumping off the ropes, you know, so I did, I did do a lot of training in this, but just doing like a full match in front of, uh, in front of the crowd, it was probably about two or three, but, you know, every day in practice um, for months leading up to it, I rocked the Zoom Trainer too. So, alright, I just gave you the name. The Kobe 2 Zoom Trainer. So, that's what this is. You know, somebody says it's not a real Kobe. I mean, it's not a signature, but, you know, it's still, still Kobe there. You don't believe me? Bam, look at the bottom. You see that logo. Then you see it right on the top. But again, this is about the drink, so, <laughs> you know, let's get back to that. I just wanted to throw that random fact and, you know, say why, you know, I made this shot also of Kobe. I mean, how can you not like Kobe? I mean, you know, one of the greatest players ever. Um, you know, I'm a Knicks fan, I do, but I do like the Lakers, so, you know, watch Kobe from the start, you know, I wish he was a Nick, but hey, what can he do, you know, so, he always dropped it on us at uh, MSG, <laughs> always did, but, you know, so here's to it, y'all try it, let me know what you think, I'm about to take this, I mean, you can stir it if you want, I mean, it always tastes better when you stir the layer shots, but, you know, that's not how we're doing it here, so let's do this, y'all. Ooh, wow. Very smooth. I'm glad I added more of that sweet and sour. The last one I made, um, I don't know if the video's still there, but I made a cocktail. Uh, I wasn't too impressed with it, but, um, you know, I had it made. Um, I didn't use that much uh, sweet and sour and limoncello, and that really balanced this out. I mean, you can still taste the black licorice. You can still taste, taste like a black jelly bean, you know. 
You know, it's one of those ones I'm not always in the mood for a black jelly bean, but there's times where I, I like it, you know? I take a black licorice over a red vine, you know, once in a while. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but hey, what can you do? Not everybody like Kobe Bryant, you know, some say his attitude, but I mean, the guy was, the guy was amazing. There's nothing else to say. His mentality, you know, like, how, how can you not like him? His work ethic, work ethic, how can you not? So, you know, here's honor to Kobe, his daughter, everybody else that died, but this is the Kobe Bryant black mama shot. It's done, and bam. To the next one, check out my other videos. I got more coming down the line. Of course, next month is uh, Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna have a lot of like Valentine's drinks. So stay tuned for it, watch it, you know, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And to the next time, y'all, take care.